In 2005, Electroharmonix released the POG, which is a polyphonic octave generator. Now, this pedal was really successful. It's been used on a ton of recordings. You can hear it all over the white stripe stuff. It sounded great. And if you look around, you'll hear it on a lot of records, and you'll see it in a lot of places. A lot of players use this pedal. The MicroPog represents part of the new XO line from Electroharmonix. And what it is, it's similar to the predecessor, except it's contained in this smaller die cast box. So it's going to fit into your pedal board a lot more easily. And it's still the great pedal. It takes any signal and it'll split it into the octaves. It tracks super fast. It tracks super well. So I can play all my notes, all my arpeggios, all my chords with this thing, and it's going to come through sounding really great. The MicroPog really just has three controls. It has a dry knob, a sub-octave, which is an octave down, and then it has an octave up knob, which is the octave up. For our first demonstration, we're going to get kind of a great bass sound. And what that is, is like, so we have the octave up turned to zero, and then we have a sub-octave cranked all the way to the top, and then we're all the way, so it's just the wet signal. It's none of the initial input. And it sounds like this. So now we're going to get a 12-string kind of sound, and the way we're going to achieve that is we're going to turn the sub-octave down, but I'm going to put a little bit in because it's going to warm it up. And then we have the octave up. Your octave up, you want to be able to hear that, so you turn that up. And then the dry signal, I have it leaning a little bit towards the octave up. So it's going to be a blend of the original sound and octave up and just a little bit of the sub-octave. Let's hear what that sounds like. So moving on, we're going to see what the thing sounds like as an 18-string guitar. And the way you do that is you're going to take the sub-octave, which is the octave down, and you want to hear that. So we're going to crank that up to about the same place that the octave up is. In the dry, we got a nice blend between the guitar signal and the two octaves. And now we should have a super clean and greatly tracked 18-string guitar. <laughs> So the MicroPog also works cool on bass. As you can see, we have a bass. And the settings that we have, we have the dry pretty much cranked. We have a bunch of the sub-octave, and we got a bunch of the octave up. And disengaging it, it sounds. So now let's engage the pedal. And it adds a really kind of interesting character and interesting tone to the bass. And it sounds a little something like this. So finally, we are going to do kind of a sound that the pog was famous for, and the micro pog is totally down with getting, and that is the organ sound. And what that is is basically the same settings as the 18-string guitar, but it's more about the technique and the style that you play it with. If you have a volume pedal, you're going to want to kind of swell it in, but I'm going to do the swells on the volume on my guitar. And so check out the, the way I'm doing it, and that's how you get the organ sound. And it sounds really great coming through the micro pog. Amazing tracking and an excellent way to expand your sonic possibilities on the stage or in the studio or anywhere. The MicroPog makes a bass sound cool, the guitar sound cool, or pretty much anything you put into it. It's really one of the cleanest and best sounding octave generators out there.